I'm expanding my e-commerce business and I wanna launch a product in the beauty and personal care category, but now I need to figure out what product to launch. Now that we have figured out that we wanna sell a product in the beauty and personal care category, I'm now going to teach you how to make sure your product launch within that category is profitable. And of course, the way that you're gonna do this is by using data. There's many ways that you can check for trends to make sure that you're launching a product that is going to be profitable. You can check Google Trends, go on social media like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, see what's trending on there. You can go in person to stores that are selling the type of product that you wanna launch. So in this case, maybe you would go to Sephora or Ulta and you would see what their displays are, what are on the end caps, maybe even talk to the workers there and ask them what are flying off the shelves. That's a way to get a good gut check for what type of product you want to launch within the beauty and personal care category. And I wanna ask you, if you were going to try to cash in on this Barbie trend, what product would you wanna launch? Would it be a makeup product, a hair product, or a nail product? In the chat, just go ahead and add A, B, or C. And we're gonna see if you get it right here at the end of the webinar. Okay, so after you've gotten that gut check of what's going on in the market, of course, in this scenario, we know that pink is trending for a pretty obvious reason, Barbie. It was one of the biggest blockbusters of all time, and of course, something that I'm obsessed with, <laughs> as you can see by the pink jacket. But instead of just going on a gut feeling, what you need to do is use data. So what we've done here is we've used Cobalt to see what the average year-over-year -year unit sales growth is for products within that category of Barbie. Barbie makeup was trending 650% year-over-year with average unit sales growth. Barbie hair care, 102%, and Barbie nail polish, 2,703%. That is a crazy growth. So after we've looked at this, we can say, okay, Barbie is not just trending in the theaters, it's actually a product people are searching for and they're searching for it on Amazon. So the next step in this data-driven approach to profitability on Amazon is market research. You wanna know who is performing on Amazon under these Barbie keywords within the beauty and personal care category, of course. If you were to look into this, you'd see that Tangle Teaser, Wet Brush, Kitsch, Townley Girl, and DND &D are five of the top performing brands within this market and own the most amount of market share. You would also see the revenue for Barbie themed products is up 118% year over year. So this is taking into consideration all of the products that fall within this subcategory. So whether that's you know, bubble bath, as you can see here that the goodie Barbie hair ties are trending and nail polish, brushes, scrunchies, things like that. So it's taking into consideration any type of product you could probably imagine that you could launch pink or Barbie themed within that beauty and personal care category. As you can see, the Barbie Tangle teaser brush had an increase in revenue of 560%. This is great. So this is something that you can take and say, okay, I want to launch a pink hairbrush as well. It doesn't need to be a partnership with Mattel or with Barbie. It could really just be a pink brush that you launch and you advertise for those Barbie keywords. So that brings us to the next step within this profitable product launch strategy. You want to look at the keywords that are trending. This is going to give you a good idea of what product to launch within the category you've chosen, but also it's going to inform your PPC strategy. As you can see, all of these Barbie keywords had a really awesome upward 90 day trend, all of them being above 320% up to over 4,000%. Now, this is only a snapshot of the Barbie keywords that you can get within Keyword Scout, but there were tons. There's tons that are still trending, and we are a year after the launch of the Barbie movie. Now, if Mattel had a tool like Keyword Scout, back in 2002, they probably would have been able to see that literally no one was searching for a pregnant Barbie. And then they would have avoided a really bad product launch, one that got them in trouble with parents all over the US. Instead, they would have been able to see what people were actually searching for back in 2002 and had a more profitable launch. So this is something that every brand 
every seller needs to be looking into. Whether you're as big as Mattel or you're just starting out on Amazon, keyword research matters and it's going to help you avoid a product launch that is not successful. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is a price band analysis. We wanna get an idea of what these products are selling for on Amazon. As you can see here from our research, Barbie makeup has an average price of about $20.36. Barbie hair care, $23.25, and Barbie nail polish, $12.32. So now that you have an idea of what you could potentially price that product at, you need to find a supplier. Now, if you're already selling in the beauty and personal care category, my first suggestion is to go to the supplier that you're already using. Chances are they can source the product for you or they could possibly make the product for you. So that way you don't have to have too many supplier relationships as that can become a headache. But if your current supplier isn't able to help you out with these products, ask them if they can point you in the right direction. If not, Jungle Scout has a supplier database that is a really great starting off point for this. Supplier database gives you the ability to find suppliers that offer things like nail polish, hair care, and makeup. And then after that, you'll get an idea of what the cost is per unit. After you know your COGS and of course, calculating your Amazon FBA fees, you can get an idea of how profitable this product launch is going to be. Next step here is going to be getting an idea of what your PPC strategy is going to be. So as you can see, we've used the product OLAC. I even bought it off of Amazon. So what I did is I searched Barbie makeup for women. Now this was in the top sponsored spot and it's not a Barbie product. There's no partnership with Mattel, it's just pink. But what they did is they bid on the word Barbie makeup for women. They were paying about 81 cents per click and they own a total share of voice of almost 14% for this keyword. As you can see, there's products that are next to them that have an actual partnership with Mattel or are sold by Mattel themselves. But as I mentioned before, you don't need to have a partnership with Mattel to sell one of these products that are cashing in on the Barbie trend. Let's look at a few examples. Here I have Shampoo and conditioner from a brand called Monday. They existed far before the Barbie movie came out. But what they did is they started advertising on keywords such as Barbie hair care. This was in the top sponsored and organic spot when I purchased this off of Amazon. And they're not Barbie at all. To give you an example of a product that was sitting next to them but actually ranked after them in the organic spot is an actual Barbie hair care product. So you can be bidding on these keywords and ranking above Barbie themselves on Barbie hair care, and all you have to do is have a pink product. So one of the strategies that you can take here is to launch a new product, make it pink, launch a variation of a product that you already have and make that pink, or take a look at your catalog. What do you have within your catalog that maybe is already pink and you can be cashing in on this trend and you don't have to make any material changes to your business. This is what looking at data can do for you. It can open up your eyes to trends that maybe you weren't aware of before. And I'm not just talking about the Barbie trend. There's many trends that are coming and going all of the time and you just might not be in tune with them. What you need to do is research consumer trends see what people are searching for, see what people are buying, that's gonna open you up to a product launch that you might not have ever pictured on your own. So now I'd like to reveal the winner of the product launch. So if we were going to launch a product based on the data, we would be launching, drum roll please, pink nail polish. Notice how I say pink nail polish here and not Barbie nail polish. The products that you see on the screen and the one that you see in my hand right here, they're just pink. But when I had searched on Amazon for Barbie nail polish, these were in the top spot. Barbie nail polish had almost a 3000% average year over year sales growth. And they also had over a 3000% increase in searches on Amazon over the past 90 days. That's incredible. And although we can only sell this for maybe about $12 on Amazon, the cost to source nail polish is actually pretty low if you look into it. So this is a strategy that I actually took myself. Of course, I used Jungle Scout and I did a lot of research to see what products were trending. And of course, with my love of Barbie, I was really excited to see 
that there is actually money behind this trend to be had on Amazon. I'd like to introduce you to a few products that I launched by using Jungle Scout for a data-driven approach to product launches. So first off, for my brand, Couples Coffee, I decided to launch a pink coffee bag and a matching box of K-cups. Now, these have been selling really well on Amazon, but the feedback that I've been getting is it's not Barbie enough. So what I did was design a new bag that's even more Barbie than this one. I did an A-B test using PicFu, and I put the original pink bag next to the newly designed pink bag that was even more Barbie than before. I did two tests, one that had a pool of both men and women, and one with just women. And I got really great results back from that, telling me that people were looking for more Barbie. So that is a product that I'm going to be launching soon. So we'll have the pink bag and then a Barbie bag as well. For my brand Fantaswick that I launched is a pink candle. Again, cashing in on this trend of everybody wanting pink within their home, I decided what better way than to have a candle for home decor that's pink and looks very Barbie. And again, I got feedback that they love the candle, but people want more Barbie. So the point of today's webinar was not to tell you to go out and launch a Barbie product or even a pink product. The point was to tell you that you need to validate those gut feelings with data. Don't just look at what's going on in pop culture, what's trending right now on TikTok. You need to make sure that there's profitability in that on Amazon. And Jungle Scout is the way that you can do that. And stick around to watch the next video to see exactly how to use Jungle Scout for your next profitable product launch. Thank mm-hmm. you.